You better show me that one for <laughs> approval. And I don't know why we did this so late. Actually, I do know why, because I didn't want to overload you. Grip? Yeah, I didn't want to overload you with information, but I, I do think it's better to have a semi-western grip. Yeah. So we already started last time. Semi-western, look, it puts your hand more underneath the ball. And especially now, the reason why I changed it was your, actually your elbow. I think it's easier on the elbow, the semi-western grip. You know why? Because with the eastern, you were here before. And now, look, when you hit, the elbow is more behind the ball. So when you hit, there's a little bit more pressure on the elbow. When you put your hand underneath, especially if you're trying to do topspin, it places the elbow more underneath the racket. It places the hand more underneath the racket, the elbow more underneath the racket. And when you hit your forehand topspin, it's a lot easier on the arm. So that's why we're switching the grip to semi-western. Was the, I draw this for you last time for the clinic. Were you able to stick to this or? Okay, so I have to tell you what my brain does Go ahead. to me. Tell it's me. Like when you serve yeah with this grip yeah <laughs> continent continental. <laughs> continental international grip yeah, so, yeah 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 it's just yeah it's awkward okay and now now this new grip is also like that feel oh it feels weird brain. yeah so now there is no comfort whatsoever oh no it's okay it's gonna be fine okay yeah, yeah. I think your no, forehand, you. last time we played, your forehand looked so much better. Yeah, you draw some lines Yeah, here, and then you, and put then it, you put it right here. Dot here, yeah. so. And you just connect that, make sure you angle your hand off like this. Right. And now you just play it from here. It's the best grip in the world. Yeah, yeah. No, I trust yeah. you. I was at that uh, clinic in yeah. Delray. Yeah. And um, I was like very fidgety. Okay. So the whole group is waiting for like the hit and I'm like... Well, it's going to take you a while to... <laughs> It's going to take you a while to find this grip. So when you yeah. grab the racket, you're most likely going to go to the old grip. This is muscle memory. Yeah. yeah. But I already saw last time you're hitting the forehand a lot better. Mm -hmm. Look at this. That's beautiful, Anna. Come on. Good. Normally when people switch to a more like Western grip, they start dumping balls into the net because if you have, let's say, a continental grip and you hit a ball, your wrist is at a certain angle yeah. and you get used to this angle. And now if I turn my Racket over to let's say semi-western. You see the wrist is likely going to stay at that same angle when you make contact because of muscle memory. But look at the racket head; it's very closed. So now what needs to happen is the wrist needs to go more underneath. So there's a different position of the wrist. So that is what happens to most people when they turn the grip over to more a western grip, because that closed racket face they start dumping balls into the net. Here's the crazy thing: I didn't see that from you last week. The first time we switched your grip, you didn't really dump anything into the net. Mm -hmm. So you're doing amazing. It's actually going opposite, higher than the net right now. But yes. still in the course. But that's what you're seeing, it's topspin. Yeah. So the trajectory of the ball will change with more topspin. It's a lot easier to make topspin with a semi-western grip and the ball will look more like this. It'll go up and then down. Yeah, yeah. Or you, before your ball was a little bit more straight like this, right? Mm -hmm. So the way the ball will shape itself over the net is going to change with this grip. I like your head. Oh, you like it? Yeah. I like it too. The reason why I'm wearing a hat, I haven't gotten a haircut in a while. It's a good red. You have really good style. A lot of comments is about your shoes all the time. People are like, hey, dude, you're changing them like gloves, you know? I have a lot of style. Yes, you do. No, I'm just kidding. I don't and know. I like your style too. Okay, let's continue. All right, here we go. And a beautiful forehand. All right, now, on the run, same thing. You start right there and finish it all make sure you finish like what you normally do finish all the way here now here's the thing you can do you've been already doing this kind of naturally but you can when the swing is completely done you can put the put the racket in your hand like this you see it's not that you're trying to catch the racket over here you just you're just going to tuck this arm and you're going to place the racket in your hand here and grab it you're already doing this a little bit i've seen you do it even in your match but i want you to be a little bit more conscious of it okay it can reinforce a good finish. Just don't catch it too early though. You see, that, that's what I don't like. This is why normally I don't instruct uh, players to catch the racket because of exactly what happened there. You're catching here. Remember what I told you. You're going to here and here. This is how you catch the racket. You can't catch the racket out front because now you're going to shorten the, the finish. Show me how to Watch. do it again. Just go here. Look, here. Right, right. Yeah, and here. So the very end, when the racket's already done, you just put it in here like that. There you go, beautiful Anna, come on. Anna, it's clean, very clean. That's beautiful. What's your favorite color? Uh, you want red, green, orange, yellow, red. blue, red? Yeah, yeah. All right, I want you to go around this cone now. And go around the cone. There you go. Good. 
Oh, I love it. Two more. Come on. A little too close to the ball and give me a match point. Give me a whip right here. Whip. One more time with racket face slightly opened up. One more time, Anna. Come on. Too far away. You stopped too early. Don't set your feet too early. One more time. Come. Anna, you being careful. Come on now. Swing freely. All right, one more time. Come on. Match point. Pressure's on. Okay, a little bit short, but it's okay. We'll do another round. You're doing great, Anna. You're doing fantastic. Very nice. Okay. Okay, again, the grip, we're going to have to hit like a couple thousand forehands, so this becomes muscle memory. Yeah, yeah. You have to be very patient. Of course. You know, with yeah. cerebral people like me. No. I have yeah. to be perfect. You have to be perfect, and then what happens when you try to be perfect? Or let's replace the word perfect with trying to get the ball in at all costs. Mm -hmm. You actually tense up. And you start decelerating the most important part of the forehand, which is the, the contact area, and you start steering and guiding and pushing the ball. That's mm -hmm. what happened a couple of times. Now, here's the frustrating thing. When you do that, your intention is to get the ball in really badly, but you end up missing just as much, if not more. Right. So I'm telling you, you have good mechanics, hit freely. Very good top spin. Go around the cone. Come on. Oh, look at this. Love it. Nice body involvement there. Good, Anna. Three more. Come on. And again, a little bit more depth and you're doing perfect. Woo. Yikes. All right, no problem. Come again. Good. One more match point. Give me a whip. Anna, this is incredible. Come on. All right, now we're going to remove the cone. We're going to try to rally back and forth cross court. You and I against each other. You want to take some water? Take some Pellegrino? Mm -hmm. Pellegrino, of course. I'm gonna close that, 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 that trash can right there. Look, it looks so bad, right? I like Perrier better. I don't really like Pellegrino that much. You like Perrier? P Pellegrino is a little too flat for me. It is not bubbly enough. Perrier, listen. Yeah. It's purified water with artificially added bubbles. What? Yes. No way. Pellegrino is from the source. No way. Yeah, yeah. It's completely I didn't know that. Good. Good, Anna. Come again. Swing freely. Good. 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 Yeah. I mean, he spoke to me on the last clinic. Yeah. He's like, Anna, you don't have to do all of this, like, going this way. Maybe you can just, and you just, put, you know. Held my hand. I wouldn't. I think it's fine. Whatever you're doing here is fine. That's not the problem. The problem is around the contact zone. You're still steering sometimes. You're not hitting freely. What I like you. That's why I'm doing the hand drill with you, is to accelerate here with the hand like this. Just all you need is right here. You need freedom in this part. We're back here is okay. There you go. Come on. Skim my hand. There you go. Skim my hand. There it is. You're not going through my hand. Skim it. Oh, there like, go. Like this. There you go. Do uh -huh. it again. So, there you go. Come on again. There you go. Come on. Mm -hmm. Don't get stuck underneath my hand either. Come on. There you go. That's all we need. So around that contact zone. Yeah, I'm going to show you in your hand. Put your hand like this. I'm going to hit your hand. Very lightly. Don't worry. Put your hand oh, like you're the ball. You're me now. Yeah, watch okay. this. See how I'm skimming it? See? I'm oh. skimming on top of it. You see that? I'm not going like this. Yeah, I see. I'm going it's this. It's like doing somebody's ass. Hey, <laughs> you should do this. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around, okay? <laughs> here, here. Very simple. It's so simple, it's not even funny. Couldn't be more simple, the forehand. Good. 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 Again. How simple is that? Don't get funky with it. Come on. I know you're getting funky with it again. Keep it simple. Come on. You get, you're getting a little funky again. Yeah. Come on now. I feel like you're overextending the wrist. You're going like this. It's unnecessary to go like this. Keep the forehand technique simple. Don't overcomplicate it. Mm -hmm. Don't get funky with it. Yeah. Simple mm -hmm. is the best. Accelerate it. Don't steer. Hit freely. This is confusion sometimes. Why? I think I think I have to at the match it's at the 
matching <laughs> point. At the matching point, I feel like I have to feel the proper. No, you don't. Position of my wrist. No, it's going to happen naturally. The lucky thing that you do on uh, that you have on the forehand, not just you, anybody, all of us. When we hit the ball, the wrist extends and naturally gives you stability, naturally. So there's no need to stiffen the, the whole of the racket. There's also no need to loosen it too much. Natural is the best way. As if you were hitting the ball with your hand. Natural. Oh, okay. Because the wrist bends back, it gives the stability. When the ball impacts the, the string bed, the wrist is already back. It gives natural stability. So instead of, like, to hold the racket here, the wrist has to be stiff. Don't so it doesn't go like this. Well, it can't be too loose because then it gets sloppy and it might move at contact but it shouldn't be too stiff either because then it's too rigid then it's moving like rigidly so sometimes i see you overextending your wrist i see you going like this i yeah. see the racket going like this as you're taking it back it's too rigid yeah. now the wrist won't what they call lag properly because it's too stiff here so it can't be too stiff it can't be too loose just keep it natural like you're doing you did like probably 100 forehands at least today the correct way really? so yes I absolutely didn't feel the consistency yet. well which I'm waiting for. We're waiting to Plato. get like, I'm waiting for you to give me like 10, 15, 20 ball rallies. We're getting like four, five, six mm -hmm. ball rallies. I'm looking for those 10 to 15 to 20 ball rallies. That's our next step. Yeah, yeah. Now let me guide you through it again. I'm going to do tattoo on my finger. All right, go ahead. No, come on. <laughs> not permanent. Here we go. Here, here. Uh, don't think it don't. No, you don't. see, you see. Here. Oh, so it's a, okay. Yeah, yeah. One more time. You're not going to feel this too much. It's going to happen fast. So you're going to go here, and now it's going to happen fast here. That part of the stroke is going to be fast. That's going to happen by itself. I know you're worried about that part right now, but you can't manufacture that part. That's the wrist changing positions in the forward phase, or what's called the wrist lag. It'll happen by itself. If you try to make it happen, you got a, you're in a world of trouble because now you're going to... So just ignore it. Ignore it completely. Now. Okay, okay. High-level players don't know that that part of the forehand happens. It completely happens on its own. It's already happening on its own by, with you, but if you try to tinker with it and you start making the wrist go like this on, like consciously, you start going like here, now you, you make that part of the forehand slower, you slow it down in order to make certain things happen, and now you got a hitch in your forehand and it's not going to be continuous, it's not going to accelerate the same way. Okay. So don't think about it. Okay. All right, here we go, come on. Good, Anna. Better. Proper spacing. Good. Finish all the way. Good. Good. Good, Anna. Um. Good. Okay. Go there. I'm going to feed you some more. This time I'm going to be hand-fed. Even easier. Good. Nice work. This is the only way to do it. Muscle memory, we have to yeah. hit thousands upon thousands of forehands mm -hmm. for your wrist to get used to this new grip. We have to work hard. I'm excited. We yeah. have to grind. You're doing good. You know, good. What, you know what I love? The whole time you have a smile on your face when you play. Ah, you like to play, it. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I can see it. You yeah. look happy while you play. And that's really all, it's all that's what it's all about. You you're, having, you're having fun. And even when you're missing, you're smiling. It's amazing. Nice work, Anna. Good job.